Royal Caribbean International has its entire fleet sailing around the world again. With the entire fleet being ready for the winter season, the company's ships are offering itineraries which are currently in Northern America, the Caribbean, Australia, Asia and a few more regions. In today's video, we take a look at each of their ship's current update across the world. Wonder of the Seas, which is Royal Caribbean's latest ship, built this year and having a maximum capacity of 5,448 guests, is currently sailing its first full season in the Caribbean. Sailing from Port Canaveral, the 2022 built ship is now offering alternating week-long voyages to the Western and Eastern Caribbean. The Sea of the Seas, which is currently sailing from Fort Lauderdale, was built in the year 2021 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests. Offering seven night cruises to the Eastern Caribbean as well as the Bahamas, the itinerary includes visits to Coco Cay, Labadi, Porto Plata, as well as San Juan in Puerto Rico. Spectrum of the Seas, which was built in the year 2019 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests, is currently in service in Southeast Asia. She offers a series of Southeast Asia cruises departing from Singapore's Marina Bay Cruise Terminal. The Symphony of the Seas, which was built in the year 2018 and having a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests, is currently departing from Port Miami every Saturday. Symphony of the Seas is operating a year-round schedule of seven-night cruises to the Caribbean and the Bahamas. The Ovation of the Seas, which was built in the year 2016 with a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests, is currently in service, offering sailings in Australia. The Ovation of the Seas is currently docked in the Sydney home port and after returning from a cruise to the South Pacific, the Quantum class ship is starting a 12-night holiday voyage to New Zealand. The Harmony of the Seas, which is also built in the year 2016, having a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests, is currently offering week-long cruises to the Caribbean. Sailing from Fort Lauderdale as her home port, she has visits scheduled to popular ports across the region, including St. Martin, Cozumel, Aruba, and Coco Cay. The Anthem of the Seas, which was built in the year 2015, having a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests, is currently in service and is based out of Royal Caribbean's Cape Liberty Cruise Terminal. She's currently sailing a series of week-long cruises to Florida and the Bahamas. In addition to Nassau and Coco Cay, the itineraries feature calls to the Port Canaveral as well as Miami home ports. The Quantum of the Seas, which was built in the year 2014 and a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests, debuted in Brisbane in the month of November 2022. Guano of the Seas is currently offering a series of South Pacific voyages from its Australian home port. With varied durations, their itineraries include ports such as Mystery Island, Villa and Nomia. Guano of the Seas, which was built in the year 2010 with a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests, is now sailing from Texas. She is offering a series of seven-night cruises to the Western Caribbean. In the month of November 2022, the Oasis class ship opened Royal Caribbean's new cruise terminal in Galveston, Texas, thus becoming the biggest cruise ship ever to visit the port. The Oasis of the Seas, which was built in the year 2009 and having a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests, completed a summer season on the East Coast. The Oasis of the Seas then returned to Florida in the month of November 2022. The original OSS class vessel is now offering week-long cruises to the Caribbean, departing from Port Miami as a home port. Independence of the Seas, which was built in the year 2008 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,600 guests, continues to offer a year-round schedule of short cruises to the Bahamas, sailing from Port Canaveral as a home port. In addition to the days at sea, the three- and four-night voyages which are on offer include visits to Nassau and Perfect Day at Coco Cay. 
And with that, we wrap up the most recent updates from the Royal Caribbean Group as of December 2022. If you enjoyed watching this video, please remember to hit like. And yes, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with all the latest cruise news and updates. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care and stay safe.